Hello people, today we're going to talk about Lost Abyss, as you can see, Ferdinand Trigger, and Japanese 151. So, as you can see, the root print finally hit. Now, this photo, this picture was taken from a Japanese group uh, on Facebook. Uh, it's always publicly available, and uh, I'm sure... I haven't seen it really anyone uh, covering this already, but uh, it looks like the root print has hit this week, as you can see. And, uh, I mean, basically, they were... I think it was Pokemon Collector, which I recently discovered his channel. I think he's based in Hong Kong, so he definitely has a better access to Japanese Pokemon than, than I do over here in Italy. Um, that he mentioned that the reprint was going to hit this week, but I think also I read it on uh, these uh, Japanese groups on Facebook. Nevertheless, what we're going to do today, if you're still watching, as usual, we're going to look at numbers, we're going to look at data, see if these boxes have hit the European market, and uh, if they hit the European market, they most likely are going to or have hit already the US market. Why? They all come from Japan, they're imported, so, and you can make a strong case, well, but we're going to analyze it in just a second, that uh, the American market has a larger demand for Japanese Pokemon than the European. That being said, guys, Without further ado, let's get into some data. So, this is Lost Abyss Supply in the European market. Now, this chart you see here, this beautiful 3D chart that I am drawn pixel after pixel. Just kidding. This comes from the bot that is publicly available on the Discord, which is absolutely free. So, why haven't you already in there? Join, say hi, say hello, read the commands, please. There's a dedicated section there's bot chat, bot commands, please read them and uh, have fun with it. You can play around, there's many products you can chart and um, as you can see there is supply and then there's prices and actually many more things that are coming in the future. So I'll see you in there. So as you can see, um, unless you're blind, if you are again, sorry, but thanks for listening. The supply, we've had a drastic increase here. And that's basically when, if you go look at the listings, that's when people start to take pre-orders. Most of them are going to be available starting next week, because as I said, the European hit the Japanese market this week. So obviously you need time to ship and move inventory. So from below 150 boxes to now over 300, I'm genuinely expecting more to hit the market and uh, I will, we're, after we look at 151, I'll tell you even um, more. So we're going to compare the two. So the price, that's what's happening to price, obviously. Not a surprise as the supply increase. Obviously price, we would expect it to move lower. The blue line, as you can see here, is the average of the four lowest listed. Whereas the orange line is the median price, which is not the mean or average. It's the median. Now. Without wasting any time, let's move to Paradigm Trigger. Now, ignore this dot right here that said zero because I obviously am drawing it. As I said, I were I, I did <laughs> I did this with paint pixel by pixel. So ignore this. Obviously, this plan wasn't gone for a whole day. So boxes have gone higher. So looking at this number, you could argue that either the supply was larger or the demand was lower because for Lost Abyss, you had more less boxes than you had listed for Bergen Trigger. It's also true, this is only a small portion of the European market and it doesn't reflect the whole market. So the number of boxes, it's safe to say that the number of boxes available for sale is greater or equal, as you would say in mathematical terms, than this number right here. So supply has gone higher and uh, Price pretty much stable, about mid 50s actually. So it, it is cheaper. If you if we go back to Lost Abyss, it is sitting in the mid 70s. So it's a bit cheaper, Paradigm Trigger right now. And um, again, I am expecting more supply to come in the future. I don't know if there's gonna be multiple waves. That's what I heard. I have no idea if it's true, but that's what I keep uh, reading. So I guess we're going to find out. I wouldn't be surprised if there were, but uh, I have no idea. So if I don't know, I'll just say, I don't know, but that's what I read, that's what I heard, but I don't know. So 151, so 
this is we have more data for 1.1 and uh, before I uh, basically did a very stupid thing which I deleted the previous database I'm a, I know uh, I'm um, I have this kind of uh, superpowers I can mess up everything I do so before the 1.1 reprint hit and there is the data to back this up on um, one of my older video you had about two to three hundred bucks available in the European market which two to three hundred should ring a bell that's a number of boxes you had for lost abyss actually less than that so no idea here if 151 reprint was larger than lost abyss I have no clue no idea I'm not trying to make any speculation but if we are expecting a similar print run then we could expect Lost Abyss to get to these numbers, so in the thousands. Is it going to happen? I have no idea. But obviously, if it does, we can expect then price to go even lower, which ideally, in an ideal world, that's what I would like to happen, so I can buy close to MSRP if not as MSRP. As of right now, I do not hold any 151 Lost Abyss or Premium Trigger, and I don't know if things are going to change. I'm concerned as there are many viable options, viable alternatives that I am considering, which I'm not going to tell you because none of this is financial advice. Now, that being said, we I don't know what happened here at this big drop. It, it's not a bug. That's actually the genuine listing that we had. So from over 2,200 to less than 1,400. Uh, I don't know what happened here. It, and uh, I don't know if this, I don't know if they actually got sold maybe to stores, so some sort of business to business. And then here we regain the supply. And again, I don't know if there's more 151 supposed to come into the market. There's more reprint coming. I have no idea. I heard they might, uh, July, some sort of stuff. And uh, But again, I don't know. But uh, nonetheless, there's plenty of supply and price obviously have been dropping. Now you can find in the European market boxes for about 65 euros, 68 with shrink and pretty much the same prices with uh, without shrink which is a bit weird uh, but uh, it is more expensive than in the US I'm pretty sure in the US can get boxed for 55 to 50 dollars that is because the sales tax in uh, European countries which is different for every European country kind of like uh, if I'm not mistaken every state within the US uh, but uh, again if I'm not mistaken Sale tax in the U.S. depends on the states, but uh, it's about between five to eight percent, maybe. I don't know if some states are up to ten percent, whereas here it's kind of double. It's um, right here in Italy, it's twenty-two percent. Uh, I know Germany is nineteen, and then there's other countries that go up to I think up to twenty-five, and then ba basically around twenty percent. So that's why once you import these items, you need to pay sales tax. VAT would be the European equivalent and uh, you know that's why in the U European market they are more expensive than in the US and uh, that's why if you're European and you you usually hang around uh, you know American people American channels and they're gonna say oh I can find a box for 50 55 dollars well yeah it makes sense because they have a lower sales tax than we do remember that you know if it's cheaper they all import it from Japan there must be a trick somewhere so most likely that is it let me say guys that's the update don't forget to join the discord again to be able to use the bot as well as join a growing community help me get to 1000 subscribers asap so please subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more and for now thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one